Hello Capricorn, this is Tanya from Sarva Yoga and I help you navigate your life. Today it's time for your December 2020 tarot reading. I thank you for already more than 1000 subscribers. This channel would be nothing without you guys. Thank you. As usual, I will go first into shuffling and then into your reading and you can see in the timestamps below at what time the shuffling ends and the reading starts. Now let's not lose any more time and let's go into shuffling. Angels and spirit guides, please bless this deck and let me know what's in store for Capricorn for December, please. Capricorn December 2020. The messages are really welcome here. Thank you. Ooh, six of pentacles equal give and take. Oh, pop up. there we go. Eight of cups walking away from something. Ooh, six of wands. <laughs> oh my God. There they jump. The Hanged Man. Anything else for Capricorn? I think that's it already. <laughs> they jumped out so fast. Amazing. Okay, now Capricorn, if you have any special question, it can also be a yes, no question, yeah? Because there are yes and no answers in this deck. But it can be any question. Ask the question now because I will, this deck, it gives quite uh, simple and straightforward answers, okay? So, angels, ooh, there we go, it already fell out. You have get more information, okay? Get more information. And the second card that was stopping on my thumb is abundance. Oh my God, abundance. That's so beautiful, wow. I'm gonna keep that one because this is an amazing reading. I can already see that this is gonna be a good month for you. And let's see what the second angel deck has to say for December. Okay, there we go. Looking back and contemplating and seeing clearly. Okay. Now that is exactly, this is the, the hanged man. I can't believe it. You've got the hanged man from deck number one and you got the hanged man from deck number two. This is amazing. The number 12, the hanged man twice in your reading. So obviously there is either a need to change a perspective or there is some kind of waiting hanging in there. So Capricorn, here's your December reading. And the first thing I have to say is the number 12 seems to be very important for December for you. Not only because December is the 12th month of the year, but also because you have three 12s in your reading. First of all, you've got two sixes, the six of wands and the six of pentacles, which makes 12. Then you've got the hanged man from one deck and the hanged man from another deck. And both of them have the number 12. So this is really amazing. I don't know what is happening on the 12th or why 12 is such an important number for you this month, but maybe you should go and Google the angel number 12 just to have more information on your December, dear Capricorn. Now, 
what I see here is um, with the Eight of Cups, you're walking away from something. So maybe you are not knowing yet um, if you want to or which direction you want to go, but you definitely know that you want to walk away from something. You want to leave something behind, whether that is about a relationship or a job or something else, a house, a living place. You want to walk away from it because you expect a better future somewhere else. But maybe you are not yet knowing which direction you go, north, east, west, south. Um, maybe you want to make a complete change. Maybe you want to be something very else in the future. Um, you definitely are on a, in a transition phase. And actually all humanity right now is in a big, big transition phase, okay? So um, this is a good sign. You're walking towards something better, but maybe you are in limbo, not knowing yet which way to go. So I see it this way that in life, we always go through four phases, limbo, start, middle, end, and then repeat, limbo, start, middle, end. And maybe right now you're in this limbo phase where you are just trying to redirect your life and see where do I have to go next? Yeah, you're just sorting things out, looking over things, trying to become clear of some things and just to know where you want to go. So um, you're making a deliberate pause. You're sitting down and then you're contemplating and reminiscing about the past you you think about what you have reached up until now in your life and if there is something in you that still wants to come out something you always dreamed about but you never dared to do maybe there is something so you sit down you take the time and you're trying to find to make a decision yeah and it says this is the moment to decide what you will do next so you're thinking about how far you've come in life and where you want to go. You're visualizing your future. You're trying to, maybe you even did a vision board just to get clear for yourself. Where do I want to be in one year, in two years? So you're trying to find clarity about your life's purpose here. And it, this card also said that, that you shouldn't be distracted by conventional thinking. You are allowed to think out of the box. You are allowed to think of doing something very, very else than what you've done before. You, are, you should live your true self, even if this is maybe disappointing someone else. Yeah. Just yesterday I was watching a channeling and this man who channels, he said that his marriage broke apart when he was daring to follow his true identity. His true self was to be a medium, to be a channel yeah, for beings which are in the invisible realm, yeah? in, the, in, the, in the unseen realm. And before he used to have a regular nine to five job and his wife wanted to divorce him after he said, listen, I want to do this full time. I want to be a channel and I want to help people with that. And she was going like, you're crazy. This, this is just hocus pocus. This is nothing. But he followed it and now he's very successful with that. So maybe you are at a similar place. Maybe you are in a place where you say, I always wanted to do this, but people were always looking at me like, huh, that's what you want to do? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> so this is a card that says, dare to dream, dare to be your true self. And the two hanged men's, yeah, the two hanged men's, very strong energy because this is a major arcana card, okay? The hanged men with the number 12 highly important energy for you this month. It's about um, changing your perspective on some things and don't let other people um, influence you in how you see things because this should be only your decision. Yeah, It says you should see clearly and it's time to see things from another perspective, from a perspective that you didn't have before. Um, you have the talent to uh, see the current situation and visualize a fantastic future. Don't worry if there is some, um, some kind of stopping the momentum. If there is a little bit of a delay and things are going slower than you would like them to go. Don't worry because everything is in divine timing. 
the time where you are thinking about your future plans, where you are sitting and contemplating is not going to go very much longer. And being your unique self is going to be what helps you most in this time of thinking about your future and seeing things from another perspective. If you need to, just get more information. Because the angels have said to you here that it's perfectly fine if you're not sure about a future way to just assess the entire situation. See what other people say who have been on that way that you want to go in the future. Ask them, how have you been? How did it all start for you? How did it go? Did it end well? Where are the traps which I have to take care of? Yeah, so get the information. I mean, we live in the age of, of internet. You can Google basically everything. <laughs> and then there is a lot of abundance waiting for you because you have the abundance here. Maybe it's already in your life, yeah? And with the six of wands, this is confirming that, yeah? This are, these two are very strong abundance cards. So with the six of wands, people are seeing and hearing you and you're standing on stage and people are applauding you and, and saying that they like what you do, that they love what you do. If you write a book, people read it. If you are an actor, people will go see your play. If you are, let's say, a mom, a stay-at-home mom, then you will win the prize mom of the year. <laughs> you know what I mean? So no matter what you do, you're gonna be seen and heard and people are gonna praise you. This is a card of victory, success and dreams coming true. Plus it's backed up by the abundance. So wow, this is a hell of a good month for you Capricorn. <laughs> I really have to say this because um, maybe this eight of cups here, yeah, the walking away from something maybe comes from the six of pentacles because the six of pentacles is about equal give and take. And maybe you felt that there is a better place for you, a place with more of the equal give and take, with more abundance for you. Yeah, maybe that's why you're walking away from this old situation or that's why you're thinking about changing your job, changing your workplace, changing your home, your maybe you think of moving even yeah, to another state, to another country, to another continent. So, I mean, there is no card that indicates physical moving right here because we don't have the chariot or anything. But what we have indeed is that you're walking away from something, you're walking into a time of abundance and you are having to change the perspective and get more information on something in order to find out which way is the best for you in the future. So don't worry if there is some kind of delay, it's gonna end soon for you because um, the abundance is already waiting. <laughs> I mean, this is one of the best readings I have for December. I really have to say this. Um, and it's also the hanged man is about surrendering into divine timing, surrendering into the will of the cosmos and just letting yourself drop into this new thing. You know, you trust the universe. You say, I'll just jump in, even though I've never done it before. I'm going to try this, you know, and you are, you're really wanting to do this. You're in there with passion because if there was no passion for it, then the ones wouldn't be here, you know. So you really love that and you, you will shine in it. It's, it's amazing, yeah. So um, it's about realigning now, realigning, reassessing, and then when you made your decision, going that new way. I think this is an absolutely amazing reading, Capricorn. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. So Capricorn, I hope you like this reading. If it resonated for you, please leave me a comment and tell me how it resonated. The channel is still so small that I can answer every single comment. Also, I would be happy if you like or share this video. And of course, if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I love you guys. Bye.